Marquez, we saw him out box Pacquiao, and I think uh, he's a brilliant boxer and could, you know, give Mayweather trouble. Well, Manuel Marquez about to make his uh, ring walk as we join our commentary team of Jim Watt and Adam Smith. The moment is almost upon us. One Manuel Marquez is Mexico's number one fighter. And the atmosphere inside the MGM is magnificent. One of the greatest fighters in the world today making his entrance. The leading Mexican light. He brings the hope of millions of his countrymen on Mexican Independence Day weekend. He will get a rapturous reception. The fabulous Juan Manuel Marquez. He looks ready, Jim. Yeah, tremendous fighter, a complete fighter. I think if you're going to rewrite the textbooks, this is the man you would use as the model. Does everything correct, everything perfectly, master every aspect of the game. so many world champions in his 60 plus years in the business but here's the man that Marquez has got to conquer and no one has ever beaten Floyd Mayweather as a professional the most high profile sporting comeback of 2009 here we go Flash charismatic, former pound for pound king. Walking to the ring with one of the showmen from the world of wrestling, Triple H. That's the last ring of sorts that Floyd Mayweather was in. But it's 21 months since he last entered a boxing ring when he broke British hearts by shattering Ricky Hatton's perfect record. Mayweather is back.
Here begins the next phase, the next stage, as Mayweather returns to defend his long-standing unbeaten slate and attempts to add to his ring legacy. Is it a smart move? Is he as quick as he once was? What of the rib injury, the ring rust, or Jim, will he be back to his brilliant best? Yeah, I expect that. He's a natural athlete. Mayweather has spent his whole career coming up through the weights, spotting the other guy, all the physical advantages, but still finding a way to come out on top. Tonight, he's the one with all the physical advantages. Younger as well, probably a bit fresher. I cannot see him failing tonight. I can see him having lots of problems along the way, but I can't see him losing his unbeaten tag tonight. That massive weight advantage last night on the scales, 10-6 to Marquez's 10-2. Wasn't worried about any 1-4-4, 10-4 catch weight. He'll pay the penalty, two pounds over. That's what he wanted to come in at. And as Jim has said, he has the advantages. Ladies and gentlemen from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Mayweather Promotions and Golden Boy Promotions in association with Marquez Boxing Promotions are proud to present the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. Sponsored by Tecate Cerveza con Caracter, AT&T, and its new Viva Mexico wireless plan. Quaker State, real durable oil. DeWalt Power Tools, guaranteed tough. Affliction Clothing and Southwest Airlines, grab your bag, it's on. Sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission Chairman Bill Brady, Executive Director Keith Kaiser, Commissioners Skip Avancino Jr., John Bailey, T.J. Day, and Pat Lundville, Physicians in attendance at ringside, Doctors William Berliner, James Gain, Al Capana, and Anthony Arugaroli. Timekeepers at the bell and counting for the knockdown seconds, Steve Esposito and Ernie Hartigy. At ringside, the three judges scoring this bout on the 10-point system will be Bert Clements, William Lurch, Dave Moretti, and inside the ring, your referee in charge of the action at the bell, Tony Weeks. And now, from the MGM Grand of Las Vegas, Nevada, ladies and gentlemen, Trainer Nacho Beristain, wearing green with red, official weight 142 pounds. Professional record, an outstanding one. 50 victories, including 37 knockouts with four defeats and one draw. This Ciudad de Mexico, the three time world champion, Juan Manuel Dinamita. instructions instead receive your instructions okay look he goes right here it's okay anthony miller at slow mira aquí está bien aquí no goes right here it's okay anthony miller at slow mira aquí está bien aquí no 
Keep everything above the waist. Still a Sotora para I want a good, clean fight. You can only play Olympia. Obey my commands at all times above all. Protect yourselves at all times. Escúchame. Cuídate. Listos. Let's go. Vámonos. It's not every day when two excellent fighters clash. The anticipation of Floyd Mayweather's return after the mini retirement and Juan Manuel Marquez. Dangerous, a ring veteran of 55 high octane performances. He's underrated, he's classy. Is this a bridge too far though against Mayweather? Who says the hiatus has refreshed him mentally and physically and he feels as good as ever will he be well marquez has always had the total respect and admiration of the fight game tonight he gets the chance to become a superstar but uh, what a massive job he has on his hands also i always feel that the discipline of the scales puts an edge on the fighter's performance marquez up it 10 stone, 2 pounds, looking a little bit fleshier in the middle. I wonder, will he still have that edge? He still has the power, the experience and the technique. Will that edge be there? The fight, far his highest weight. Marquez at 10 to, is it artificially built? Mayweather just inside the welterweight limit. Looking bigger with all the advantages in size and probably speed, which is what the Marquez camp has worked on. They'll need pressure, pace, combinations, so much. Mayweather, wonderful defensive genius, though. I mean, already he stepped out of range and come back with a sharp-looking counter, so difficult to catch, and he's stepping in with the jab there. I mean, Marquez can do all the right things in the right order, they find that they don't work. There's that left hook again, so quick, little feint, and he goes and he's out again. So difficult to face. The shot for Mayweather. Marquez can start slowly too. He was floored three times in that first fight with Manny Pacquiao. He brilliantly to come up and eke out a draw. Many felt he won that. And the rematch too. Top quality operator, but is Mayweather an exceptional one? Well, we're asking uh, that the 21 months would it take him time to adjust? Well, he's answered that. Sharp as a razor. He said he's sparred almost every day. He just loves to box. He's back to prove he's the king. And I think he's also proved, uh, especially against our own Ricky Hatton, that he's not just a fancy Dan. If he has to stand and trade, he can do it. It's just too quick in the opening round here for Marquez. Yep, catching Marquez. The shoulder roll. The tight defence. The razor sharp speed. See. Opponents just cannot set themselves to get any power into the punches. His reflexes are razor sharp. The corner of Juan Manuel Marquez and Nacho Berestein has been ever so complimentary of Floyd Mayweather this week. Does he really feel his charge can pull off what would be a massive upset? Well, Adam, I've never heard them saying they expect to win. They say we can win, but I've never said that we will or they expect to. The 40th outing for Floyd Mayweather in a career that began in 1996. And the 56th for Juan Manuel Marquez. Damaged around the eyes, but in he comes. Needs to get the jab going. Marquez is an outstanding fighter, he's been so throughout his career. I just hope Mayweather does not make him look an ordinary fighter tonight. And he is so good, that is not out of the question. I mean, he was so sharp in that opening round. You had Marquez hitting fresh air so often. For so long a counter-puncher, Marquez. Surely he can't do that against a man of Mayweather's talent and skills. But he has brought aggression into his game of late. Beating Joel Casamayor and Juan Diaz. 
And listen to the crowd trying to fire him up. Mayweather is just so quick when an opponent even makes the slightest little move as though they're going to start something. A good right hand from Marquez. He smiles back, but that was a good shot. It was indeed. He's a tough campaigner, Marquez. And he said he's doing this to the Mexican people, but down he goes. And that was sharp and slick and accurate from Floyd Mayweather. And Juan Manuel Marquez is floored in the second round. Well, that looks like Mayweather saying you get smart, Juan. This is what happens to you. Two lovely left hooks, the second one, put him over. Precision from Mayweather. Who thought he'd be rusty? Straight back into his rhythm. And it's as though he decided to punish Marquez for the success he had with the right hand. As I said, Adam, I just hope he does not make Marquez look like an ordinary fighter tonight because he is anything but. That was pure class, and he's in and out quickly, Mayweather. Dazzling hand speed. And he's the heavier man. Marquez can't cope at the moment. It just looks hard of as though Mayweather can land punches whenever he pleases. Can't cope with the speed, lightning speed. And apart from Manny Pacquiao, there is no better fighter currently in the world, apart from Juan Manuel Marquez. He's excellent, and he's being made at the moment to look anything but. A smile from Juan Manuel Marquez, who's hauled himself up off the floor before. But he's never been in with anyone like Floyd Mayweather. Well, he's landed one decent punch tonight, and he was severely punished for that success. A good right hand from him, Mayweather had already landed a hook. Bang, left it bang on the chin, and that is the difference in power. OK, he's been on the floor before, but some come off the floor and perform. But uh, this job, as I've always said, just looks far too big for him. Boxing's missed him. Floyd Mayweather. More of a maturity about him at 32. He's patched things up with his father, estranged for so many years. He had a big hug before the opening bout. And his son is straight down to business. And it's marvellous to see. He's just so relaxed in a boxing ring. So, I mean, any hopes that he may run out of steam, that's not going to happen either. Doesn't waste an ounce of energy, just a natural athlete. Marquez looking circumspect. Head static in the speed of the jab giving him trouble see just the slightest hint that Marquez is going to throw something Mayweather senses that it's almost like a radar and he's out of there can an experience from such an experienced man I think he thought the referee was going to call break there he's giving Marquez no respect whatsoever and Marquez caught betwixt and between not sure whether to stand back or come forward and risk being caught again. Well, if he's going to win this one, he's going to have to go for it. There, he's just banged on the end of a jab there. And he's on the front foot a bit more, Mayweather, as well. This is what he did with Ricky Hatton in the middle rounds. He stood his ground, and he's doing it early here against Marquez. I think he stung the fact that people are calling Pacquiao 
the pound for pound man so I think Pacquiao has been to the wire with this guy twice so I think Mayweather's got a big statement to make not even allowing him into the fight lovely jabs from Mayweather timing spot on and Marquez clumsy They'll roar the fans, but they've also got a witness and take their hats off to the class that Mayweather is showing left hand. See his reflexes are good, he can drop his hands, he can break all the rules in boxing and still get away with it. He just is so comfortable inside a ring. You're right, Jim, it's as if he was born there. Yeah, everything just comes so naturally to him. And that, that radar I've mentioned already. Look, as soon as Marquez makes the slightest move, the slightest offensive move, he senses it, he sees it coming, and he's out of the air or he's countered it. It's all Mayweather. Already slightly despondent. One Manuel Marquez, who must be thinking, what on earth have I got to do? Arnold Schwarzenegger enjoying it at ringside. <laughs> the Mexican crowd giving him a mixed reception. One Manuel Marquez in those Mexican colours. Such a proud warrior over the years. Remember, he's never, ever been stopped. Took Pacquiao to the wire twice, and that will be some statement from Mayweather. If he can pull it off. Down already, Marquez, in the second round. Mayweather toying with him. He just can't get near Mayweather's chin. Maybe glance off the top of his head, catch him in the shoulders, but the chin is nowhere to be found. A clash of heads there that Marquez caught on the chin from the top of Mayweather's head, I think. Short left hook. Remember, it was a check left hook that led to Ricky Hatton's dispatching in December 2007 in this very ring. He still looks as though he can land punches whenever he pleases. Finding gaps in the defence of Marquez. So sharp and quick. That's a cut as well. Right eye of Marquez, who's bled a few times before. He won't lie down, but he, he can't deal with this. No, I mean, when you can't even land a worthwhile punch, Nope. Landed one. And look at the penalty paid for that in the second round. Right hand. There is again. The smile from Mayweather. Will he pay Marquez back like he did before? Marquez hang in there. His compatriot Jose Luis Castillo did give Mayweather trouble in a couple of fights at lightweight. Oscar De La Hoya, the only other man to come close to beating Mayweather. Yeah, but De La Hoya had the size to do that. He could impose himself. Marquez not able to do that. Marquez knows if he takes chances, he can end up on the floor again. The slick left. You don't see Marquez miss like that, usually. See, it's this kind of desperation. He's doing things out of character because the, the right things don't work. So you start trying the, the wrong things. Not around to Mayweather. Well, the right hand landed again, and uh, he got the same smile back. 
But uh, not the same response from Mayweather. Marquez, that's as good as he's going to land. But Mayweather pulls away, just takes the sting away from the punch at the last split second. Down in the second, outboxed, outclassed for four rounds. Juan Manuel Marquez. Floyd Mayweather, love him or hate him. And he's not everyone's cup of tea, but he is such a talent and possibly the best fighter to lace on the gloves since maybe Sugar Ray Leonard. Manny Pacquiao wouldn't agree. And maybe that mega fight will happen down the line. Still got a deal with Marquez, but at the moment he's coping just fine. See, you wonder what's going to happen when Mayweather decides to up the pace and put meat into the punches. He's pot shotting at the moment, just having a little time to himself, if you like. He's winning the rounds without exerting himself. But sooner or later, he's going to start stepping in with the shots. And Jim, he knows that physical advantage will start hurting Marquez in the middle rounds. And he's edging Marquez back to the ropes at the moment now, just as we're seeing that. Twenty-five knockouts in the 13-year career for Floyd Mayweather. Not a dynamite puncher, but you don't have to be often with skills as good as his. Yeah, and when you've demoral demoralised an opponent, then it's, uh, you don't need tremendous power to get them out of there. But uh, don't see him demoralising this man. He's a warrior. Trying so very hard, Marquez, as we knew he would. Can he get Mayweather into the corners? Can he work the body? See, against the loose of opponents, working the body is the good plan, but the problem is, you try to get close, you're punished. I mean, you know, all the plans, as he says himself, 39 people have come in with plans that haven't worked. Look at that right hand he just threw. And again, whipping them in. hook again so he actually gets power into the left hook as he's pulling his chin out of harm's way amazing I mean, you, you can't really teach fighters things like that it's just instinctive natural every time he inches forward Marquez the punishing counter and that left hook is working a treat You've just got to enjoy him, haven't you, Jim? I mean, I don't think Marquez would ever believe there's a fighter alive that he couldn't even land a clean punch on. But that's how it's beginning to look tonight. He's faced almost everybody. He's trained as hard as he possibly could. And at the moment, he's come up with nothing. Totally outclassed, Jim. Yeah, that was my fear from the opening round that they would make Marquez look ordinary. But the good news is we know Marquez is not ordinary. Mayweather is exceptional. And he puts the work in, Floyd Mayweather. He trains doggedly hard, day and night, to be the best he possibly can. Spreading his feet now, where we're going to see the big bombs coming in now. Usually his feet are close together when he wants to be mobile, when he wants to dig the shots in, spreads the feet, there's the right hand. Superb. He told me in London, Jim, it will be a chess match, but a brutal chess match. It's been a one-sided exhibition. Yeah, well, it's actually the signs of a dismantling at the moment. He's just taking his time, chiseling away at the job. And he'll pick his time to raise the pace. And Marquez doing what he's always done, which has worked all the way through his career. Not even looking like it's going to work tonight. Great time in boxing for Floyd Mayweather to come back and join us. Manny Pacquiao and Miguel Cotto battling it out here in November. 
Shane Mosley hanging around ringside as well. I know they're talking about that, Mayweather Mosley. Also for Marquez, a oh, lovely right hand. I just he saw it saw it in the legs there. He was shaking again then. Yeah, when you see him spreading the feet, you can expect the power to come in the punches. Bewildering Marquez. Mayweather was quite amazing against the late Arturo Gatti, but Gatti, not Marquez, certainly not in terms of skills and talent, and it's happening to him. Uppercut. These are hot for punches Mayweather's throwing now. If these land cleanly, we could well see Marquez going over again. The uppercut was vicious, it didn't connect though, but it was vicious. Not even close, the shoulder roll, the defence, and the frustration on the face of Marquez. And Marquez having to force something, have to tense up, he's liable to tire quicker than you normally would. There's no relaxation in his work, he can't relax. Under the cosh, every second. Dissecting and dismantling the toughest of warriors here. Floyd Mayweather with his brilliant skills and talent. 21 months, Jim. He's never been away. Na natural athlete. Everything comes so naturally and is so well prepared. Another round goes up, obviously, for Mayweather. Excuse the language from Roger Mayweather, but there can be no worries in that corner, but what about this one? Can they tell him anything, Jim? It doesn't look like it. No, but I think all they can say is, uh, you know, look out, here he comes, it's, uh, there's no plan to beat Mayweather. He's a phenomenal talent. Just the, uh, see, the slightest move Marquez makes, Mayweather senses it. Pulls himself away, the punch comes and he's there to counter it. I mean, you can practice that till you're blue in the face, but no, nah, it's got to come naturally, and that's what it does with me, with me weather. This honest, excellent fighter, Juan Manuel Marquez, doesn't really deserve this. But then, it's only once in a generation when a man like Floyd Mayweather comes along. Also, I think the huge money is. Uh, you know, avoided Marquez through his career. He's well paid tonight to, with an extra bonus as well. So, and there's no disgrace here if he doesn't even win a round, if he doesn't even go the distance, there's no disgrace. Stepping up two weight divisions when he hadn't even grown in properly to the lightweight division. Yep, took the challenge. And he's made it into the second half, just about. But will Mayweather step it up? Well, I thought Marquez may have given, given him some early problems, but no, right from the off, you could see, no matter what he did, Mayweather's got the answers. And sometimes Mayweather can drift and eke out the points victory, even if it's one-sided. But tonight he looks as though... He wants to get the job done inside the distance. Yeah, well, I think, as we said earlier, the fact that Marquez has taken Pacquiao to the wire twice, a lot of people feel he won both fights. Mayweather wants to do a job, and he's doing one. Well, mistake there from Mayweather, left him some wide open. Yep, Marquez got home with one. Still in there battling, Marquez, against this tidal wave. Precision from Mayweather. Marquez can't believe he's six inches in front of this guy and he can't land cleanly on him. Almost gets through there and Mayweather smiles. 
trying to solve the puzzle, Marquez. And he's been so intelligent in the ring through his career. But he's being made to pay every time he misses. Well, Marquez is an excellent counter-puncher. Mayweather is coming forward in this, this round. But doesn't matter, doesn't have the tools to deal with this. A smile after that right hand, in and out. I mean, this is what's required. Caution to the wind from Marquez. The pace does not sit on another round, obviously, to Mayweather. Revving himself up, Juan Manuel Marquez. But Mayweather in utter control. Petro Beristain, who saw Oscar de la Hoya embarrassed by Manny Pacquiao. And now he's witnessing a guy who's almost like a son to him, Jim. Yeah, but I mean, what can you tell him? I mean, we did feel that the match was made, they're stepping up to a third division to face the pound for pound best on the planet. It was almost going to be too difficult for him, but even I didn't believe it would be this difficult. The return of Floyd Mayweather so far exemplary. Can he finish it off in style and become the first man to stop the teak tough Juan Manuel Marquez? Executing the jab. Pride and heart from Marquez. He is trying, Jim. Yep, and he won't stop trying. The little bust you had in the previous round, just throwing caution to the wind. Well, obviously, you can't fight three minutes of every round like that. But I think he's going to have to need to launch a couple of attacks like that in each of the rounds, just to try for a bit of success. Well, we're sitting here suggesting what he should do. Whatever he does, does it matter? Will we well or just not? Cancel it out and take over. The slickness, the speed. His father was even telling us this week, he's not quite as quick as he once was. Looks pretty dazzling to me, Jim. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any deterioration in the slightest. The fact that he's hardly taken maybe two, possibly three clean punches to the chin against a tremendous fighter. Just a jab to the body of Marquez, stopped him in a right hand. And I wonder if he's beginning to sense that Marquez can be taken out. See, Mayweather knows when the shoulder's been behind the punch, if it's an arm punch or if the jab from the shoulder, and I think that's what happened there. He knew as soon as the punch landed, it was a thumping shot, and he saw the effect of it. He's one of the most phenomenal trainers you'll ever see in camp, Floyd Mayweather. As Marquez attempts to come back with a combination and again gets paid in the ring. It's razzle-dazzle. Look at that defence, Jim. Yeah, I mean, what I was fearing happening is beginning to happen. Marquez missing by a mile. Just been made to look like an ordinary foil for Mayweather. What an incredible fighter he is. Just can't get through. Elbows tucked down. Right hand, and he appreciated that Mayweather. That was nice to see, as Marquez had one bit of success.
And there is Sugar Shane Mosley, who beat Antonio Margarito earlier in the year. And I know Richard Schaefer of Golden Boy is thinking about Mayweather Mosley. Well, that's a fight that would be easy to make. Uh, they've dealt with Golden Boy before Mosley's with Golden Boy. Spirited and brave, Marquez. Relaxed and at ease. Here's the ninth. The Mexican colors of Juan Manuel Marquez. He'll want to get through this and fight till the end. Can he, Jim? Well, you can't help uh, having the impression that if Mayweather decided it was time to close the show, he could do it. Because he's just doing exactly as he pleases. Stands widening again in this round. A bit, more, a bit less mobile now as though he wants to draw Marquez in. But remember, as we said earlier, he's not a fancy Dan. If he has to exchange punches, he can do that too. His chin hasn't been tested all that often, but if it has been, there's nothing wrong with it. The jab has been a wonderful weapon, and usually Marquez has that in his arsenal. Tries the left hook to the body, Marquez. The crowd trying to inspire Marquez. Uh, Mexico, Mexico, they're chanting here. They know he's in need of something. Well, Mayweather, not quite so slick in this round, but it's just not because he can't continue to do what he's doing. It's as though he wants to stand his ground a little bit and just show Marquez how tough he is now. You know how quick I am, how class I am, and this is how tough I am as well. Jab and combinations. Marquez's face reddened. Must be so dispiriting for someone who's almost seen everything in the ring like Marquez. I mean, Marquez is known as a fantastic defensive fighter, but just no defense to the speed here. Couple of left hooks to the body from Marquez, but nothing to dent Mayweather. Well, Marquez will not stop trying but uh, he's not even really mounting any worthwhile attacks now. Oh, right hand! That was a big shot from Mayweather. Blood from the nose of Marquez, and it spurs him into battle. So this is what Marquez has to do. The pace he's boxed at is absolutely no good whatsoever. He has to try and grab hold of the tempo, control things a little bit more, not try to react to Mayweather. He'll never do that. I just felt in every round they should mount a big attack, just throw caution to the wind a little bit. Because what he's doing, he's just losing by a mile. These right hands though, Jim, having an effect on Marquez. because he wants to be here, as you see, he's been well paid for it. This is a massive opportunity for him. So too late to complain about that. All you can do, you can admire his effort. I think you just have to more so admire the quality of the fellow in front of him. Now those were kind of looping punches. If he'd shortened those, if he'd been a little bit straighter, they may have done the damage, but they were kind of looping punches. They weren't as powerful as they looked. Tenth round of this 
welterweight mega match. Floyd Mayweather has surely won every single session. And the second round, remember, Marquez was on the floor. Have you given the Mexican anything, Jim? Not only my admiration, can't give him anything. He's been totally outboxed in every round. Right hand was doing the trick in the previous session. Mayweather may have found the key as Marquez tires and the difference in weight starting to come into play. See, these punches are shorter, they're straighter, they're not the looping shots we saw in the previous round. Has he decided? Enough's enough. Marquez with a right round the back. This the session that Floyd Mayweather ended Ricky Hatton's unbeaten record. He's putting the spite into the punches now, Mayweather. A fairly stationary target offered by Marquez. Still the Mexican fans bellow out his name. Well, Marquez's reputation is safe and secure. We know what he's about. See, even when you're landing Mayweather, he's moving. Just the punches are glancing off, not landing cleanly. But a great hit into that body shot, Mayweather. And that hurt Marquez. Stepping forward and getting power into these punches. Some bravery and Mexican heart. He wants the stoppage, Jim, but Marquez is defiant. Yes, but the signs here that uh, again spreading the feet that bit, purchased the punches, but Marquez is taking them. I'd love to see Marquez see the 12 rounds out here because he deserves it. What a servant he's been to the game. Don't want to see him knocked out. But it looks as though Mayweather could well do that if he set his mind. Marquez coming back with an attack with a right crisp over the top from Mayweather to finish another good round. Referees in there. Tony Winks just keeping an eye on Marquez. That's interesting, Jim. Yeah, well, uh, I mean, he sees as we do that Mayweather is now stepping in with the punches. I think maybe the thing he might he's, calling it off. He's shaking his head, Nacho Berestein. But they're going to let him go back out for the 11th. But you can see the spite now in Mayweather's punching. Six minutes left. And I guess the question is, can Juan Manuel Marquez see it out and hear that final bow? Well, he won't start trying to cover up and coast his way to a points defeat. I mean, he'll, he'll keep trying to throw punches. That's what he's about. He's here representing Mexico. But that's the kind of attacks we need to see from him. Just let some punches go. A couple of right hands on the reddened face of Marquez. See, Mayweather has controlled the pace all the way through. And if he's controlling the pace, then he's controlling the whole fight. Many critics predicted a late round stoppage for Mayweather. Partly because of the size and weight. But the slick skills tonight have been tremendous. 
I mean, fighters, you know, great fighters, they know they can lose, but they don't really think anybody can totally outclass them. I mean, this must be a shock to the system. Oh, look at the uppercut there. I mean, this must be a shock to Marquez's system. Another right hand. Yeah, legs dip there from that one. Still, he comes yeah, back, Marquez. As you would expect, giving it everything. It's a real effort. Determination from Marquez. But Mayweather now stalking him around the ring. There's a right hand, and Tony Wicks having a closer look now as Marquez begins to finally wilt. Oh, there's another one. I'm just hoping, Adam, if uh, Marquez is going to box on from here, that this fight doesn't have a lasting effect on him. I don't think he's taken enough punishing punches for that to happen up to now. But I'm looking forward to hearing the final bell, and I'm sure so is Marquez. Still one round to go after this one. Still manages to fire out a combination, Marquez. But Mayweather picking the punches and looking for the gaps. Just over 30 seconds left in the 11th. Another big right hand. Mayweather is just dominating him at the moment. He's just kind of treating him with disdain. He promised us, Jim, a spectacular return. Yep. I certainly can't fault it. I don't expect anyone else can. Pretty punch perfect. There's the jab. What guts from Marquez. But the brilliance from Mayweather. Job nearly done. Las Vegas, this is round number 12. A smile from Floyd Mayweather, and I'm sure he'll have tremendous respect for the heart, bottle, and grit of Juan Manuel Marquez. But Jim, it's been one-sided, and it's been a tremendous comeback. Yeah, but I mean this. I mean, Marquez isn't up to the job. We have to remember, up two weight divisions, in effect, three weight divisions. Mayweather has controlled the pace of the action all the way through. And if Mayweather's doing that, then you can't shake him. I mean, it's been a wonderful performance. Full credit to Marquez. We knew it would be brave. I'm just hoping... You know, just almost a couple of minutes to go here in the last round. Hope. He gets through this last round, but he won't just try to survive his way through, he'll still give it a go. Left hook from Marquez. But still, the headshots clean, accurate and quick from Mayweather. How do you think he fares with the winner of Pacquiao and Cotto, Mayweather? How do you beat Mayweather? How can you tip anyone against Mayweather? He's always said, no one beats me but myself. I mean, Pacquiao is a great fighter, but you have to remember, he doesn't have the best chin in the world up at welterweight, so these punches that he's going to walk on to if that fight takes place, yep, I just feel whoever Mayweather boxes, he's going to be the favourite. Jabbing to the body now. And there's the right hand that stops Marquez in his tracks again. 
not quite digging in, not maybe looking for the knockout Mayweather, maybe there's a heart in there which has decided uh, Marquez deserves to go the distance. Yeah, still Marquez beckons him in and throws everything at Mayweather, but still he gets counted. Now a left hook. And the Mexican fans must appreciate Floyd Mayweather tonight. Right there, Marquez holds on. Desperately trying to get to the final bout. Deserves to. Mayweather begins the dance. The hand goes up. Utterly dominant. He is back. He will be 40 and 0. And he has every right to believe he's the best pound for pound fighter in the world. Father Floyd Sr. Probably unsurprised. Juan Manuel Marquez outclassed Jim from beginning to end. And we never thought that would happen. Well, as early as the opening round, I had fears that uh, Mayweather was going to be so good he was going to make an outstanding fighter like uh, Juan Manuel Marquez look ordinary. And that's pretty much what he did. Thankfully, Marquez climbed up on the ropes and waved to the fans at the end of the fight there. So he's not ashamed, nor should he be ashamed. He gave it everything, we never reckoned it was going to be enough, and it never looked like being enough. Good to see father and son chatting again. Great performance from Mayweather, wasn't it? It was a masterful performance. Uh, it just took control from opening bell. I thought Marquez was good enough to give him some early problems, maybe get to the body, you know, maybe, maybe try to dictate the pace a little bit, but he just never got into it. And I think even Marquez himself, the longer it went, was surprised the gulf in class between the, the, the two of them. I mean, both of these guys are on the pound for pound list. Can you believe the gulf that we saw between them tonight? And he doesn't even look out of breath. A wonderful execution of technical skills. And let's get the official result. The MGM Grand we go to the scorecards. William Lurch scores at 118-109. Bert Clements, 120-107. Dave Moretti, 119-108. All to the winner by unanimous decision. He's back. He is Floyd Money. <laughs> unanimous and wide, and the smile says it all. Welcome back to boxing, Floyd Mayweather. We've missed you. Well, even the Mexican fans are applauding because they know their man has been be beaten by a far better man, no complaints, and I think they're also proud of their man. They saw it out to the finish. Yeah, valiant as ever. Juan Manuel Marquez. No need to be ashamed. He just came up against one of the greats. And I don't think Marquez would consider it a punishing fight. His pride may be hurt, but it wasn't a punishing fight. So if, if he decides to carry on, which I expect he will, because there are still massive fights out there for him, then I don't think any harm has been done. Although at 36, who knows? Max Kellerman trying to get in with Floyd Mayweather to get a reaction. I bet he's absolutely delighted with the 12 rounds. Floyd on a spectacular performance. Give me your impression of the fight. Well, you know, I've been, it took, I've been off two years. And first off, first off, I want to thank God, because without God, all this wouldn't be possible. I want to thank Team Mayweather, thank all the fans that supported, supported me. Thank all Marquez fans, it was one hell of a fight. You know, but I, I can get better, I can get better. 
better than that? How? Did you, you seemed that you, as though you were pushing for the knockout in the 11th round, didn't get it, and maybe eased up a bit in the 12th. Is that what happened? Oh, he's tough. He's tough as nails. I take my hat off to him. You know, he's, he's one hell of a fighter. And, you know, I want to get uh, thanks to Reebok and all the sponsors that sponsor the fight. Floyd, let's do it, baby. Before we do any commercials, or let's not no, do any commercials. I, I, I gotta do my commercials. That's, that's seven figures, baby. I gotta do my commercials now. It's my Floyd, you gave up $600,000 reportedly on the scales uh, yesterday. Well, well, Why? Well, I'm not here to talk about money, you know. Uh, you what know? about weight? Um, I'm happy with the victory. You know, I want to thank I want to thank my team, my team supporting me. I want to thank my father, Floyd Mayweather Sr. I want to thank Roger Mayweather. And I want to thank all the fans that came out. Floyd, it seems that that you perceive questions like that as being negative, when in fact, we just really want to know. Um, you, it was a spectacular performance, um, and people are curious about the weight. You don't want to address it at all? Well, I'm here to talk about my victory. You know, that's in the past, and um, you know, I'm ready to move on. To okay, we'll, we'll take that. We'll take that as a no. Uh, you said before the fight, a great big man, which you are, would beat in this fight, would beat a good little man. That's exactly what happened. No, he's a great little man. He is a great little man. That's right. You said good, but he is great. He, he, he is a great little man. He's a great fighter. And that's what happened. There is, before we get to Pacquiao, it's on everyone's mind, there is an, another truly great fighter here tonight who's your size, Sugar Shane Mosley. What are the possibility that we see that fight in the near future? Well, I, uh, well um, Shane Mosley, Shane Mosley is one hell of a fighter. And I, I don't take that away from Shane. You know what I'm saying? I let, I let uh, Al Heyman and Leonard Ellaby conduct my bouts, and then we'll go from there. I'm not, sh I'm not scared of Shane Mosley. I'm not scared of no fight. We just want to get it on. That's all. I mean, the fans want to see a great fight. Me and, me and Money Midweather. Let's get this on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Well, it's like this. It's, 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 hey, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I, wait, wait. No, no. All right, that's it. Hold on. Every, Bernard, everybody calm down. Floyd, Floyd. Shane, please, Shane, please. Floyd, con let's concentrate here. Let's concentrate. You good? Good fight. Bernard, please. No, 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 wait. Stop there interrupt you when you're doing your interview. Don't disrespect me. Respect me as a man. Okay, okay, okay. Shake hands. Good. Play basketball. Now, Floyd. Respect me as a man. Now, Floyd. Shane, not now. Manny Pacquiao. I thought that would get your attention. My attention. I know what I can do. I, I know what I bring to the And you team. showed what you can do tonight. And, and I showed what I Let can me do. ask you about the selection of Marquez as the opponent. It seems that. The thing is this. I'm going to do the talk because you do too much talking. The thing is this. All right, Jim. Let me do the talking now. 